What's up YouTube, Hudson Man 2 here, real quick before this video begins, this is the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Part 3, 5Ds, extras, but, uh, and uh, me and Brian bring in our old, f well my, I bring in my old friend Jack, which is, which is from um, Little Karibos, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, One Shot Abridged, and just Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds in general, there'll be a link in the description to his channel, um, yeah, and I want to thank him for that, for that making that voice. So, and I was able to actually copy it. So yeah, and um, Ricky and Brian's channels will be in the description, uh, as always. And I know, and I and you guys, I'm sure know I right know that I'm Jack, and um, me referencing myself in the third person is just kind of you know something fun to do and um as always guys i hope you guys enjoy these little videos let's aim for um fifth for 20 likes because for the return of Yu Gi Oh uh extras so yeah all right guys i'll see you in the video right now What's up, YouTube? Hudson Man 2 here, and before any intro, uh, what we're doing or anything, I'd like to you guys, I'd like to reintroduce two friends of mine that have not been around in a while. Introduce yourselves, guys. Everybody, it's MLP11XNC22. Ah, back! Yo, fellow gamers, and do us what shake, it's live 346. <laughs> And it has been a long time, guys. It's been a very long time. Several months, to be exact. Yeah. And we would have gotten together sooner, but, I mean, all three of us have been, bu like, insanely busy. Right, guys? Yeah, the thing is, we're very much busy. So. We pretty much we went our own separate ways for a little while. We pretty much went our, on our own ventures and stuff. But pretty much this is the right opportunity, guys, for us to come back. And now, well, if I you're what? Oh. oh, uh, and if you guys can't tell from the picture on my screen, we are doing 5Ds. More specifically, the 5Ds extra of the history of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. It's been a while, Shall guys. Shall I pull them up? Yeah, not yet. We gotta talk about a couple things before we actually, before we introduce a couple friends we brought in. Yeah. Enough. Now, it... <laughs> We've been wanting to do this for a while, but we just have not had time. We really haven't. No, we haven't. I mean, we guys, we have not forgotten about you guys. I mean, the, and here's the thing, guys. On another subject, we have not forgotten about, about our Team Battle City GX channel. We will be getting the team together at, at some point in the future. We have not forgotten. You will see our intro video for that. Yep. And a lot. Introducing what are we at? Five members right now? Uh pretty much Mary, excuse me correctly, yeah. Yeah, I mean it's me, Robert, Brian, Luke, and our buddy Joshua. You mean Zane? Zane. Zane, Joshua, whatever. Yeah. I mean he goes by many names. Like me. <laughs> yes. And me. I I go let's see, I think I go by well, you guys know me as my real name. People know me as Hudson, Jaden, and for a time I went as Zero. The Red Maverick Hunter? <laughs> no, 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 no. Code Geass Zero. Never heard of him. It was a good anime. And and the thing is, our buddy Brian, you guys know him originally as Lion Three Four Six, who is famous for two certain Let's Plays. Yep, Legend of Gaia and Legaia Two. Dual Saga, or since we're talking about Yug, Lagaya 2, d -d 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 Dual Saga. Which, here's the thing you will be seeing 
if we decide to, we're, there will be a video of me and Brian explaining what his future plans for his channel are. That'll be on yep. his channel, which will be linked in the description, as always. Yeah, the thing is, we've been talking for the uh, uh, here and there, and guys, we can't wait to tell you what's going to be happening. I'm pretty sure, guys, he's told you already, but the thing is, for the new people on this channel that don't even know what we're talking about, we will have a video up explaining what's going to happen. Right, buddy? Yep. All right. Okay, I, I suppose that's pretty much all the extra stuff out of the way, guys. So... Uh, uh, yeah, give me a sec. Uh, let me call him and see if he's here, all right? Yeah, uh, I got the same. <laughs> this is going to be good. Oh, he's calling me. That's actually his uh, ringtone. Hello? Oh. Oh, hey. no wonder. Mine's on vibrate. Yeah? Uh-huh. Yeah, man. Uh, oh, you're Oh, you're just getting here. Okay, I'll be right out. All right, oh. guys. Um, I'm going to oh. go let my friend oh, take over. Uh, head to the door? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll be right there. Uh, hey, guys. I'm going to go let my friend come back. Okay. All right. Yeah. See, hey, I'll see you guys at uh, what... Me, cause uh, me and some friends are actually going to a card shop to play some games. I'll be back. What is it? Or uh, I think, won't you guys be done in about an hour? Uh, it, pretty much, pretty much. All right, yeah. I'll be back. Yeah. See you guys. And, and I'll be back. Yeah, and and I got to step out for a little bit, so I'll be right back. See you later, Brian. See you later, Ricky. See you later. This is going to be a surprise for all of you. Ah. Hello? Well, look who's back. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jack Atlas. That's Hello, right. this is Maxi from Team Magma. <laughs> now, what is Team Magma? Team Magma is a, an organization in the Hoenn region. What is the Hoenn region and can I eat it? No, you cannot. <laughs> now, uh, well, if you don't know who these two uh, the gentlemen are, I will explain. <clears throat> Alright, people, just like the last time, all the way from New Domino City... Yu-Gi-Oh fans and duelists, please allow me to introduce you to, for the second time in a row, Mr. Abridged Jack Atlas. Hello. Next up, all the way from the Hoenn region, he is the leader of one of the most notorious organizations in the world. Representing Team Magma, the one, the only, Maxic from Team Magma. Hello there. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And today, we are going to finish off, uh, today, people, we are going to be doing Extras Part 4, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D. Um, I think Hudson, or Robert, actually told me it was part three. Part three? Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yep. Uh, so we are going to go over the list of people that we forgot to mention, that, or that we didn't cover. Well, mostly we just talked about my good friend, you say! Yes, but here's the thing. The last time, in our last little special, um, we did, we talked about the rest of the characters, but there are some characters that we pretty much did not even go over that much. You mean the Tristans of Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Days? Uh, first up, we are going to talk about, um, Bolt Tanner. Now, if you guys don't know who he is, he's pretty... He's pretty much um, one of the people that you say met in the facility 
and he is notorious for that deck that uses um, Giant Ushioni. And he's a really good duelist. I mean, there's not really much to say about him, so this might be going quicker than we expected. Um, any got any any thoughts on Mr. Um, Bolt Tanner? Well, your side told me a bit about him when he got when he uh, broke out. Yeah. Oh. He told yeah. me he was pretty good, a pretty good duelist, and what was it? Um, with some kind of artifact deck, he. Uh, uh, beat him with it. Yeah. Well, the thing is, the person that used the artifact deck is the next duelist we're going to be talking about, which his name is Yanagi. The old man. He was a bit crazy, to be honest. Well, not that crazy. I mean, not really. Well, I mean, at least it, well no one can be really as crazy as me, considering uh, you guys know my trademark by now. Yes, we do. Which, hmm. which is from my days back in Team Size Section, where we're from our first concert. Ah, <laughs> uh, back to you, Nagi. The artifact deck he has is really good. It's just you got to know how to play it correctly. Otherwise, if I remember right, your side told me it'll kill you. Hmm. Well, the thing is, the deck was this thing. Well, the thing is, the deck it does consume your life points very badly. But in return, if you have the right card, it will devastate your opponent even more. Now, since I really don't have much to say about that guy either, any final thoughts on Yanagi before we move on? Um, if I'm right, your site told me that just recently the artifact cards came to you guys' world, right? Well, it's not the same artifacts as uh. you from the anime. It's a new type of artifact art type. This artifact art type is wreaking havoc, oh, havoc on our game right now, and a lot of complaints are coming in that they are 100%, without a doubt, genuine broken so pretty much that's all i gotta say so as for the next person for our little list let me think here who's next who's next who's next who's next um, let me see Let's talk about, ah, uh, yeah, this guy, Lazar. Huh? You don't know, you don't, you don't know what I mean, you don't, you don't know who Lazar is? I probably forgot him. He is the one that uses the Jester Court deck. No mean, he works with gay clowns. That's pretty much not what I was getting at. The thing is, what I mean by just a court deck is that it, it's pretty much just a bunch of clowns and stuff. I don't really know. It's been a few. It's been a few okay. years since. It's been a few years since I've used seen the deck. Okay, what's in here? Jester Confit, Jester Lord, Card of Distrain, Spirit Burner, Discord, Imperial Custom, Imperial Imperial Manners, and Late Penalty. Uh, season four, Jester Lord, Jester Queen, Jester's Panic, Hidden Passage. Just, oh, so that's exactly what it is. It's really nothing. I mean, he's like a very minor character. I mean. I really have nothing to more to say about him. Not much. He sounds kind of worthless. He does. In fact, he is worthless. Next up, it is time. Let me see here. Uh... Okay, who's this guy? Ah, 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 
is uh let's go over to the next name let's go over to the the, the the this guy bruo one of the members of team rainbow if i'm correct yeah it's one of the team members of team rainbow originally he used a past deck with his past deck um one of the cards in his past deck was infernal dragon but what he's known for is, on Team Rainbow is he is the owner of the Bicorns. Um, he, he's pretty much known for using Voltic Bicorn, and pretty much he's a Beast Warrior deck uh, type of a Beast deck, pretty much. Oh. There's not much about him. I mean, he was in season two of Yu-Gi-Oh! Five Ds during that during that huge tournament. What was its name? The um, I forget its name. Yeah. Um, uh, that's pretty much all I can say. Any thoughts on Bro? Mm, nope. Nope. Not really. All right. Moving on to Bruno, aka B uh, Visor. Um, he is the person in Five Vs that uses the uh, Tech Genus archetype, aka TG. Um, this guy's the one that mainly uses it in, oh, Tech Genus. I've never used the deck, but it's one of the best archetypes in the game. I mean, it can do so many things. What are your thoughts on the archetype? Oh, I remember Brian telling me about him. Wasn't he the guy that taught you say how to excel synchro? Yes, it is, my good man. Yes, it is. Uh, the thing is, I mean, he, I mean, he pretty much, I mean, he, he knows how to excel Synchro himself into TG Halberd Cannon, which is the main monster. Um, but the thing is, he has other Synchros that do the work for him as well. Um, um, uh, Jack, any final thoughts on this guy before we move on? Uh, your side told me he was a pretty good duelist. I never got to face him myself, but, eh. He seems cool. Okay. 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 Good response. Good response. Okay. Next up, we got Mr. Armstrong. Now, I you... About this guy. Was he the one that used that iron chain deck against you, say? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. An iron chain deck that it, it, that locked him, his, some of his plays down and caused him to mill almost his entire deck, and he took damage. It pretty much combines several type of, of engines in one. It's a really unique deck. Really unique deck. The thing is, I'm looking at the deck profile right now, and it, really, it's very, very unique in its own way. And, ugh! Such an amazing bill. Such an amazing bill. Any final thoughts on Mr. Armstrong? Nope. Nope? Okay. Then next up, Juan. How? Oh. How? Oh. This guy, he, the thing is, he uses a beatdown deck. Focused on consistently and brutally attacking the opponent with monsters such as Rhino Taurus, Rhino, Rhino Sword, Rhino Taurus. And but the thing is, he's mostly known for because he his deck is mostly known for having a large amount of cards to destroy the opponent's spell and trap cards, such as Hyper, hey, 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 Hypnocorn and Chain Whirlwind, ensuring that, that his tactics uh, aren't interrupted. He also utilized the Unicorn series uh, to shift his strategies to work in tandem with his teammates' strategies. And what I mean by that, this guy's the one that uses Lightning Tricorn, Lightning Tricorn, Voltaic Bicorn, and Thunder Unicorn. He uses the, uh, the entire Unicorn series. Really nice deck. He's a, he, and he's a, he, he, this one is actually the real second member of team, one of the members of Team Rainbow. Really nice guy. Really nice guy. Um, he has this very his deck's really good at getting synchros out and helping out his teammates. What are you guys' thoughts on the deck? 
I am not sure. Seems like a good deck to me. Alright. I'll take that as merit. Okay. Moving on. Let's see. I'm looking at the list. I'm looking at the list. Uh, oh. Hello. I might have found somebody. Let's go with Andre. How? Huh? Now, what this guy, you know, now the thing is, this guy also uses a, uh, he pretty much uses a beast deck, which consists of, which consists of mainly, uh, flexible strategies, one of which is referred to as fast power. He includes an array of monsters with remove from play effects and support for his ace card, Thunder Tricorn. His deck is unquote in the sense that he can change strategies very quickly to adapt to his opponent's moves in order to counter them. So this guy uses Naturia Landrake and Thunderbike uh, Thunder Unicorn. That's pretty much what he uses. And I need to stay on this guy's good side. <laughs> the thing is, I mean, the thing is, his deck is okay. I mean, it's a speed world deck, no exception. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it, to say the least, for for that character. So I have nothing else to say. Uh, next up, as I look at this nice list here, let me see. Let me see. Oh, oop. Um, let me think here. Is there anybody else that I don't know of? The thing is, I know one person. I know one person. We went over his deck. We really only only went his history, but not the deck in general fully through. I'm talking about Z1. Isn't that uh, what's his name's like friend Paradox? Uh, hmm. like his master or something. Because, um, I remember Yusei, after he went back in time and fought with Yogi Moto, he, um, told me about that guy. Yeah, here we go. The thing is, he's a very good duelist. I mean, I mean, the thing is, I know, I know a lot about him, but I'm not going to go into details. If people haven't seen the final season of 5Ds in Japanese, you should see it. It's a good anime. Uh, but what I will say is that he is the sole owner of my one of my favorite burn of uh, my favorite burn deck of all time, and possibly the most feared burn deck in the game, and that's the Time Lords. Um, the thing is, I'm not going to mention each Time Lord in this video. I mean, the thing is that would just take too much of my time. But the thing is, I mean, his whole mission is to pretty much play every one of his Time Lords. That way, he can pretty much get out his most, um, his most powerful of the Time Lords, which is Cephalon, the Ultimate Time Lord, which is his main monster. But he has some really good spells and traps, too. Well, he's got mainly good traps. I mean, I mean, a few, uh, a few names I'll throw out. The Bull's Ruling, the, Imp the High Priestess Staff, the Magician's Wisdom... Zero Machine Ain, Zero Machine Ain, Zero Machine, Infinite Machine Ain Self, and Infinite, Infinite Light Ain So Far. When you get to Infinite Light Ain So Far, that's where pretty much you have the full power of the Time Lords at your disposal. Because then you will be able to use as many as you, well, not as many as you want, but you have a, you, you can summon a, a, a good chunk of them to the field. But since they're all level 10, if you use them in today's game, you can make Gustav Max really easily. And not to mention another one, 
uh, super um, um, super dimensional robot galaxy destroyer. So that's all I can say for Z1. Any, any you guys have any thoughts? Not really. No. No. Nah. Okay then. Um, Is that I, really everyone? I believe. Oh, oh no no! I forgot. There's a, one more character, but I can't find that. But I let me let me look up. Let me look up one thing. I just thought of him, and he's like the last person I can think of. But in order for me to do that, I need to find. If I can find this team. Bingo! Team Ragnarok! Is that the guy who wears the um, Azar cards? Yes, they are. Let's first. Uh, let's go. Let's. We got three of them. Let's first up. Hold door. Um, the thing is, he. Let's go with the main guy first. He's the one. He is the sole owner of Odin of the Nordic Afar, of uh, uh, Azir, who is the. He, and he has a really good way to summon him out too. I mean, really good. I mean, really, really good. Um. I mean, I've seen the duel on uh, once one time between him to between Team Five Ds and Team Ragnarok. It was one of the best duels in the series. I like the Nordics. I wish there was more support for them, but unfortunately, a a, a certain company named Tronami refuses to uh, to give old archetypes new support that are so out of date. But the thing is, the Nordics are really good. That's all I can say. Um, his deck's good, by the way. Next up, Dragon. Um, about this guy, he is the one that uses four. Lord of the Azir. Um, the thing is, I mean, he's really good. I mean, his deck is good as well. I mean... All three of them are mainly good, but I'm just throwing a few, uh, throwing some info out there to people that may not know these guys. I mean, all three of them use Speed World Synchro decks. I mean, their decks are adapted to to Speed World, just like you say. Um, but the, the the thing is, the Nord the the Nordic uh, Zier, uh, uh, the 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 three uh, Nordic gods, as most people call them, um, pretty much they are five Ds' versions of the God cards. Because in the anime, they're divine, divine beast. But in the actual yeah. card game, they're like fairy or something, right? Something like that, yeah. Uh, actually, Robert has one of them right here in front. Of him. Yeah, they're a uh, fairy. Yeah. They're fairy light type. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um. So, anybody, any final thoughts on Dragon before we move on to the last character? No. Nope. Oh, no. Okay, next up, Brolder. Now I know, now the thing is, um, this guy is the one that runs Loki, Lord of the Azir. Um, his deck's good, I mean, I mean, it's a balance between light and dark, which, it's almost chaos-like, but it's not. But, um... He's got some good attributed monsters in his deck. Good spells, good traps. Any final thoughts on this guy before we, um, unfortunately wrap things up? Nope. Uh -uh. Wow, I can't believe that this was actually a short episode. Well, the uh. thing is, I mean, it might not be short unless I find something else. Um, let me see, what can I think of to extend this episode? Uh... Um, on the tip of my tongue, um, ah, I got it. I figured one more duelist, and we didn't fully go over him and all in the last two times he did this. Officer Trudge. Oh, Lord, not Miss, 
Not Mr. I'm gonna grow up and be a po motorcycle riding police officer. <laughs> I mean, cause I think, if I remember right, back in school, he was like, Hey Jack, I'm going to one day be a card game riding. I told, uh, like, this little short kid I used to know that I'm going to do this, and I'm still going to keep my word. Pretty much. Well, 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 maybe. Maybe. We don't know much about him. But the thing is, he is pretty much one of the heads of sector security, and he uses pretty much a hyper-speed pursuit deck. And some of his best monsters, two of them, in fact, is Montage Dragon and Goyle Guardian. Goyle Guardian's banned from what Robert told me. It is. And I think Brian said that uh, his gate blocker is now out. Yep. Gate blocker is very real, but it's pretty much a shell of what it formerly was. Yeah, that is what Brian told me. Yeah. Um, anything else I can say about Office Trudge? The thing is, later on, he does become a good guy. I mean, in season four or five years, which I'm hoping everybody sees it, um, he pretty much, he does, a mu he does better at protecting the citizens. He pretty much, oh, I believe, he becomes the head of sector security. Still incompetent, though, right? I don't know. Ah. Um, that's pretty much everything for 5Ds. I mean, people, I'm sorry this had to be short. This might be the shortest video that, that, um, has been ever done on this channel. I mean, I well, wish... Actually, Robert's done really short videos, really long videos, but this is the long, shortest that you guys have done. Yeah. Of the much. history videos. Yeah. And I do believe that Robert and Brian should be coming back. Oh, uh, let me call Robert and tell him to come back, all right? Yeah, okay. let me check to see what Brian is up to. Hey, yeah. Robert. Um, yeah. 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 The episode's already over. There wasn't too many people this time. Uh, uh, Brian, right. be, he just up. told me that the uh, tournament, the tournament got canceled at the car shop, and that he just got home actually. Oh, okay. All right. So, any final words before you guys say goodbye? Um, uh, uh, Brian just said that he's on his way back. All right. Then I hope you guys enjoyed these two's time. Well, thanks for having me, Ricky. You're welcome. Have a good Thank day. Thank you, Rookie. You're welcome. Have a good day, gentlemen. You too. Goodbye. <laughs> Gotta go back and take care of Archie. Hey, Jack. How'd it go? Um, went pretty good, Robert. All right. Thanks for coming by, Jack. Hey, no problem. Anytime. Say, say, uh, bye, Jack. Hey, guys. Hey, our buddies, my buddies are back. Yay, what's happening? How was it? How'd you enjoy our friends? Oh, they loved it. They loved it. They loved it. Jack to like, Jack's probably going to tell me later he had an amazing time. Yeah. <laughs> the thing hey, is, the hey, thing is the did I throw you guys for a loop? <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, we were all expecting, uh, like, he told... Uh, me before he told me and Ricky before the start of the call that his Uncle wasn't going to come, which kind of shocked me because I was expecting Uncle to make an appearance this time. Well, not this time because me and Brian had a change of two. And you cut and you brought it. I'm guessing it took more time to contact uh, him rather than Uncle, then. Yeah, but trust me, Uncle will be coming on for the July 13 fan list, which are all three of us are going to do a rant. Should I should be able to. Yeah, July yeah. 13th is our family. Oh, hey, hey, maybe both of them will. Who, Jack comes back? Or Maxie, you mean? Uncle and Maxie. Oh, Lord. I don't, I, I have one other friend, but he's not really the kind, like the, uh, he doesn't prefer to come out in the spotlight too often. But, yeah, anyway, guys. Uh, that was the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Extras 5Ds. As always, there will always be links in the description to uh, Ricky and Brian's channels. Yes, that would be me. So everybody, hope you enjoyed this video. And we are sorry. We are really sorry it took so long to get this one out. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, believe me. I mean, Sorry, uh, everyone. Well, let me look on. Let me check right now on my phone, real quick, and see how long it actually has been. Yeah, check the date on our last video. Let's see here. Upload. Let's see. <laughs> that was two months ago when we released the last episode. Oh, wow. Holy cow! Now, now, Robert. Um, when are you scheduled to be off of work again? Well, can we can talk about that when we uh after we close out, guys. Yeah. Perfect. So, what? Hey, what do you say, guys? I take us out. Go for it, man. Knock yourself out, and I mean that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how about here's the thing? Why don't we beat it? And I don't mean the robotic bird. Ugh. <laughs> no question, I don't mean the robotic dog. <laughs> As always, people, I, I, I thank you for um, enjoying the, uh, our first video in two months' time. Sorry that we've been gone for so long. We just got caught up. I personally got caught up with, with my family and stuff. I'm I not, got work. So. I'm not really going to go into and, and I just had stuff in general. Yeah, but trust me, people. This will not be the last time you see us this time. Trust me, we're going to try our hardest to get another video for you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you guys say we try to get one out uh, next weekend? Maybe. Maybe. Well, uh, I mean, I'm not even sure when this is going to go up myself. Yeah, yeah. but, it, but it, when it does, it will go up, people. You will see the video. But like I always say... Until next time, people, this is MLB11X NC22, and... This is Lion346, wishing you all a fond farewell, and happy gaming. And, of course, the gracious host, Hudson Man 2. And we will see you all later. See you guys. Peace!